Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Little Bean and Me podcast channel, and you can see here that I'm in a little bit of a different location. Today, I wanted to make a video about the five reasons that I love my local yarn store. So if you're interested, buckle up, let's go. So welcome to my local yarn store. This is Marblehead Knits. Uh, I teach here, I teach crochet here. You can see my little yarn right there in the corner there. Um, but I love my local yarn store. It is a place where I come to relax, to enjoy time with fellow fiber artists, so knitters and crocheters alike, um, and just relax and enjoy the craft and enjoy the things that I'm making and the things that I'm watching other people make. So the number five reason that I love my local yarn store is that it feels like home. Marblehead Knits feels like home. It has a wonderful setting. It feels very cozy in here. It makes you want to sit down and knit at the table. The first thing you see when you walk in is this huge, long table with a bunch of chairs and just everybody sitting around it. It just makes for such a beautiful and welcoming experience when you first walk into the store. <clears throat> the owner, Kate, is so incredibly nice and welcoming to all the customers who come in when she's working. And then even the local patrons who frequent the store often welcome people in and ask, hey, do you need any help? Are you working on a certain project? And most everyone knows where everything is in the store. So the next reason why I love my local yarn store is that she carries an abundance of yarn. Um, as you can see behind me, it is just overflowing with all different kinds of yarn from, you know, just 100% acrylic yarns that are relatively affordable to more high-end yarns with yak and silk and camel, mohair, cashmere, and pretty much anything you could be wanting, you can find here. Um, she doesn't carry brands like Bernat or other brands that you would find at your Michaels store, but she does carry things like um, <clears throat> Barocco and she carries um, Cascade and other brands that do both wool and um, non-wool fibers. So cottons and just everything. I mean, I just can't say enough about the variety that Kate has here in the store. Um, I can always find something that I need for a project that I have, uh, whether it's a baby blanket or a hat or just a project for myself, uh, some selfish stitching. I can always find something that's appropriate for what I need. Um, the next reason, the number three reason why I love my local yarn store is that it feels full of love and just handmade items. As you walk in, you just see the walls lined with yarn, but also with the different projects that people have worked on, samples that the knitters who are here in the store have made for the store, and it's just a little bit of everything. Um, one of the staff members here, Elaine, we call her the Mad Hatter. She has been on a hat kick for who knows how long, but she has been making these beautiful little baby hats um, and posting them on our Facebook page and they're just so adorable. It makes me want to knit all these little hats. Uh, of course, we got onto the um, the hat making <clears throat> from the Olympics. So uh, the, the girl who won, what was it? The downhill snowboard cross? Was it the snowboard cross? I don't know. Uh, snowboard snow style? downhill style I don't know I don't remember but all those chunky knit hats everybody comes in wants to make them you know uh, Kate's always trying to keep on trend with what's going on and I feel like she does a really good job because we get people coming in and asking to make what they've seen on Facebook or what they they see is like the new trend coming up so whether it's speckles or you know fun ombre gradients or chunky sweaters or the Azel poncho or chunky hats like everybody's looking for that next new thing so everybody here is really brimming with ideas and I just love it it's just a very loving and just like everybody loves to create that's what I'm trying to say like everybody who's here who's knitting who works here is really trying to forge a love of creation and inspiration and keeping things new and fresh so I really love that about this store. The next thing that I really love about 
being here and also working here is that I feel like I can connect and try and bring crochet here into the store. You know, it's called Marblehead Knits and I did have a little bit of a, when I first started coming here, I'm like, why did they just name it Marblehead Knits? There's more than just knitting that's happening in here. So I really like being able to teach everybody about crochet and trying to get more people to crochet because there's a lot of knitting people who come into the store, but it's just, it's nice that I feel like I can reach more people and teach them about crochet and let them know that they can do it. I've had lots of students who come in here and they feel like they can't do it. And by the time they leave, they're like, I actually really get this. This is really enjoyable. So that really makes it feel great to me. And I think with the atmosphere in here and all the other people who are very supportive in here, uh, I think that it makes a really nice combination. And then the number one thing that I really love about my local yarn store is that it is my local yarn store and I love to support local business. Uh, I myself am a small business owner, but I love coming in here and knowing that when I spend my money here, that I am directly making an impact into someone, into my community, keeping the small town businesses alive, so to speak. Uh, Marblehead is a town that is just all small business and it's very tough when other places do the things that you need or have the things that you want for cheaper so you leave town to go shop. And what I really like about it is that there's a strong community here of trying to shop local, shop Marblehead, and sh you know keep, keep our support within the town and to foster the growth of small businesses. And I think the people in Marblehead and in surrounding communities have really taken this seriously and I know that I do because it's important to me to know that I am helping to contribute to a small business, that I am helping to keep it alive and keep this wonderful atmosphere going because it is such a rare thing in this world to find a spot that you feel like is yours that you can relax in that you can stitch in that you know when you walk in the door you're going to see a friendly face so those are the things that I really love about my local yarn store and what I want to know from you guys is what is your favorite thing about your local yarn store please let me know in the comment section down below post a link to your local yarn store I'm gonna post a link to Marblehead Knits Facebook please if you'd like to give them a like um, let them know you found them from this video and I want to go and see your local yarn store what makes you love it so much and put a link to their Facebook or their website um, it's so nice to see these small knitting communities and there certainly are a couple of other yarn stores that are in this area so there's one also in Salem I'll put her Facebook down below it's circle of stitches I haven't spent a ton of time in there um, but it is a beautiful store she carries a lot of the things that Marblehead Knits doesn't carry so it's a great <laughs> there's a huge truck that just went by <laughs> that scared me um, there is another local yarn store in Salem called Circle of Stitches. It's a beautiful store. Anna is also an indie dyer and she owns that shop. I've been in a few times. Um, it's a little bit out of the way for me to get to just because it's easier to be in town with the two kids, but she carries such a beautiful selection of other yarns that Kate doesn't necessarily carry here. So it's kind of nice to have these two stores so close together because if you can't find something here, you can always go over to Circle of Stitches. So I'll also put her Facebook link down below and let her know that you came here from this video. Uh, I'd like to do a spotlight on her store as well because they're both my local yarn store. They're both close by me and, um, you know, they both have different things and a different environment and but both focused on creativity so that's what I love about my local yarn store so again if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed and you like to be please hit your, the subscribe button down below and if you are subscribed be sure to hit the bell icon so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video uh, I'm hoping to upload a podcast uh, sometime soon we've all been kind of sick so it's been a little bit limiting on what I actually can and can't do right now at home but I'm hoping hoping that this week I can just do a sit down formal podcast for you guys and uh yeah anyway I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video bye